so I want to touch upon the um, Chris Pratt Stoller situation really quick because it is a mess and it is something to behold. And it just further proves how deranged the deranged left is. Now, you know, Chris Pratt has been under fire for quite some time because people are accusing him of being homophobic and they accuse him of hating gay people and, you know, all because he goes to a specific church and, you know, then Ellen Page, now Elliot Page, um, accused him. We didn't really accuse him, but she accused the church of being anti-LGBTQ+. And because Chris Pratt goes to that church, people are like, they assume that he's anti-LGBTQ+. And, of course, that makes him homophobic. You know, um, side note, uh, disagreeing with a certain lifestyle doesn't make you homophobic. Hating people who are uh, part of the LGBTQ plus community, that makes you homophobic. You could disagree with somebody's lifestyle and still care for them as people. You know, it's the same thing as maybe like you disapprove of, you know, your uh, somebody's promiscuous lifestyle. You disapprove of somebody's uh, wild lifestyle. You disapprove of somebody's, you know, uh, who just, you know, it, it just wasting their life away, you know, on uh, substance abuse. You know, you could disapprove of that lifestyle. Doesn't mean that you hate the people doesn't mean that you have a phobia. I mean, that's just the way it is. But the problem with the deranged left is that if you don't 100% supplicate yourself to them, if you don't 100% uh, agree with everything they agree with, then you are there for a problem, and they will do whatever they can to smear you and try to, you know, destroy your life. And that's exactly what they're trying to do with Chris Pratt. Now, for whatever reason, you now Chris Pratt plays Star Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But and the for whatever reason, Marvel in the comics revealed. I'm not really. We're not going to say revealed. They per because they they purposely changed Star Lord's sexuality because he's always been depicted as a heterosexual male. You know sort of like a Captain Kirk type character where he like gets all these alien women and stuff but and this is just going off uh, from, from what I understand from what I hear but you know so he's always been depicted as a straight has a heterosexual cisgender male and uh, no uh, somebody pointed out that well he sleeps with aliens so it makes sense that he would be bisexual no that doesn't work that way you know uh, just because he sleeps with aliens doesn't necessarily mean that he is bisexual just because that he's attracted to female aliens but anyway long story short they decided to go ahead and make the character uh, bisexual they purposely changed him to be bisexual why who knows why uh, maybe they're trying to score a woke point. Maybe it's for representation. I don't buy the representation bullshit because just like with every other every other character change that they do or change to a character, an established character that they do, you know, there are plenty of characters. They always seem to change. More often, they tend to change the white male characters into something else, the straight white male characters. There are other characters within the Marvel Cinematic Universe that check the boxes they need check for their diversity points. But they don't utilize these already existing characters. They have to take existing white male characters and change them. So it's not about representation and inclusion. It's about exclusivity. It's about taking something from one and giving it to another. That's what that is. So, representation my ass. But anyway... Some people feel that they did it because they wanted to, uh, it's a shot at Chris Pratt because, you know, with the whole controversy with the LGBTQ plus and him supposedly being homophobic and all this other stuff. Anyway, when the news broke, when the news broke that they changed Starlord's uh, sexuality in the comics, well, people are then jumping on social media, jumping on Twitter, going, oh, what's Chris Pratt thinking? Oh, Chris Pratt must be upset. Chris Pratt must be ready to quit the movie. Chris Pratt, oh, he's going to have to make out with a guy. You know, they're acting like the character is now bisexual in the comic book, so now uh, Chris Pratt's star lord in the movie is going to have to start making out with guys. Um, 
you know, uh, they're they're spitefully gleeful about the whole situation, thinking that this is going to somehow send Chris Pratt into some sort of frenzy. They fail to realize that most people who are a little bit more balanced than they are mentally and emotionally aren't going to get upset the way they get upset about things. They aren't going to react to things the way that they react to things. You know, they're running around in a fever pitch, you know, dancing and chirping, thinking that Chris Pratt's life is ruined because a character that he plays in a movie, the comic book version of that character has been uh, changed to a bisexual. They think that his life is ruined. They think that he's going to go into some deep state of depression and be all upset and angry over this, when he could probably care less. It's probably not going to affect him one way or another. And even if they did decide to make the character bisexual in the movies and have him into a relationship with her, whatever the case may be, odds are he probably wouldn't be that upset about that either because the man is an actor. He knows how to separate the character from the person. He knows that he is not Star-Lord. He knows that he is not Peter Quill. He knows that he that 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 Peter Quill is a character that he plays. So he knows that if that character is going to be played as bisexual in the movies, he knows that there's a separation between him and the character. So it's probably not going to matter to him whatsoever. It just shows how spiteful, pathetic, and petty these people are. Now. As far as the homophobic stuff, you know, there's no evidence that he's homophobic other than the accusations against the church. But he, as a church member, has come out and said that the church isn't anti-LGBTQ+. Now, I think I saw an article where a, 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 an excellent pastor or something made, made some comments that maybe the church had certain views on the LGBTQ plus community. But... You know, that could range from various, th I don't know, I don't know anything about the church, that's all I know from what little bit of information I read, but you know, the church could just have views of, hey, uh, marriage is between a man and a woman, and you know, that's just it. And people take that and they go, well, if you believe that marriage is between a man and a woman, then you're homophobic. That doesn't necessarily make you homophobe. Again, you disagree with the lifestyle, doesn't make you homophobic. It just means that you disagree with the lifestyle. Uh, but you could, but he says he. But Chris Pratt has gone on to state that, and I can't remember the exact quote. But he said, "All people deserve love and deserve to be happy, without judgment." So, you know, the man doesn't come across as anything but a genuinely nice guy, a genuinely good guy. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous that they are trying to actually ruin this man. This is what they do. Now, had any of now, let's suppose Chris Pratt would have been coming after one of them for whatever reason, as much as they are him. Well, then they would be they would be crying and they would be saying that he's harassing them because that's exactly what they're doing. They're harassing him. They're harassing him over this. They've harassed Gina Carano. They're still harassing Gina Carano over this over because people uh, don't agree with them. And also the case with Gina Carano is very interesting because with the case of Gina Carano, from what I understand, you know, in your social media, you could put your pronouns in your bio. And she didn't have her pronoun in her bio. And people kept going, well, you have to put your pronoun in your bio. So that way, because it, it, it supposedly helps out the trans community by putting your pronoun in your bio. Because, you know, Gina Carano's um, uh, Gina Carano's pronouns in her bio, bio, is really gonna help out the trans community. Gina Carano going, I'm a, I'm a straight heterosexual female who, or, or Gina Carano's pronouns being she, her, is really gonna help out the trans community. Now, if you are a trans person, or if you identify as you know, whatever gender you identify with, you know, as a trans person, you know, if you were born 
you know, of the female sex, and you feel that you are, but your gender is male, and you want to put in your bio, him, he, him, or they, so that people know that that is your preferred pronoun, and they don't have to make any assumptions, or to keep them making assumptions, that's perfectly fine. But Gina Carano doesn't have to do that. Nobody else has to do that. If you are, because it's about assumption. People, people, I think people go, well, you assume that I am a female because of the way I look. Well, no fucking shit, you dumb dunce. That's how people are. That is specifically why you want to put your pronouns in your bio, and I get that. I understand that. But if you don't adhere to that, if you are not that, if you're not trans, or if you, if, or, or if you, let me put, put it to you this way, clarify a little bit. If your gender matches your sexuality, if your gender matches your sex, not your sexuality, if your gender matches your sex, your biological sex, then nobody is assuming anything about you. They are pointing out what you are. They are referring to how you want to be referred to. If you, your, your, your gender is female and your sex is female and somebody refers to you as her or she, then they are using the correct pronouns, your preferred pronouns. The only people who need to put their shit in their bio are the people whose gender is the opposite of their sex. But because she they, they kept harassing her, harassing her, harassing her over this. And then she just like screw it. She put in her bio beep bop boop. And because she put that in her bio, all of a sudden she's transphobic, she hates trans people, she's homophobic and all this other crap because that is where their mentality goes. The deranged mentality. It's like a derailed train their deranged mentality is. It's ridiculous. You know, here we have two people who are genuinely nice people from, from all accounts, from what I could tell, from what people have spoken about them and said everything and witnessed some of the social media stuff. They are genuinely nice people that the intolerable, deranged left are going after. And, again, it's just spiteful, petty, and pathetic. But anyway, those are just my thoughts on that. Catch you on the flip side.